This is what we call a bisecting line principle, okay? I'm trying to get a big line, i.e. your forearm, to intersect with my forearm, and that way I'm creating margin for error, okay? If my timing is not perfect, I can still make it work. If I do it correct, I'm getting a good angle, okay, position of strength outside of 90 degrees using that bladed part of my forearm, jamming down, and it's a good, strong position, but I combine that with my footwork and my body angle, okay? And then from there, I immediately train to check your elbow. This is important, okay? Because unless I check your elbow, I cannot control the movement, the rotation of your upper body. One, two, okay? Now how can we do this in a way that we're both getting the benefit of training that movement over and over again? We're gonna do it in a flow, okay? So forget about what's in my hand. This is not a knife versus knife drill. It's both of us training counter knife, right? We're gonna feed each other the attack. So you, do, you attack to me, I'm using my arm, one, two, I move, and then I'm gonna feed that to you. One, two, okay? And then you're gonna feed it to me again. One, two, and I'm gonna feed it to you. One, two. So in a very fluid manner, we're gonna practice footwork, hand coordination, body angle, okay? And we're just gonna do that over and over, defending that initial attack, right? So that's the first evolution here. And in a short period of time, I find that officers, they do this for five minutes and they're just moving now.